Good morning, it's Dr. Toker, your friendly neighborhood colorectal surgeon, and I'm coming to you with a little bit of a serious topic that I've been thinking about actually for probably two years, which, which is one of the reasons I give away so much free information. And people always ask me, why are you spending all this time answering questions for free? People pay me for this advice when they come into the office, so why are you giving it for free? It's very, very simple. Um, there are powers that be that want to control you and they're going to do so via your health care. This was obvious when they passed the Affordable Care Act. If you've read it, and I have, it's 3,000 pages. It's not easy to read. It's 3,000 pages at least. And it does a lot of referring back to other very large pieces of legislation. So it takes a long time to read through it. But what's described in this document, and I did warn people many years ago, although very ineffectively, um, I had a little Twitter feed where I reviewed everything and I posted what was going on, but um, it outlines an extraordinarily tight control of the medical world and not controlled by doctors. You're talking about control by a combination, sort of an unholy combination between government entities and extremely large corporations, in particular, large hospital groups and large pharmacy groups. And what you are finding, and they're starting to do this now, I mean, the last three years has sort of unroofed what their real plan is. They were doing a pretty good job of keeping that under wraps for a decade. And then they took their opportunity with this latest uh, health crisis in the last three years. But, but basically, the concept is to take things that you normally would do of your own accord in your own home and make those not available to you. And this would drive you into the healthcare system, but make a doctor not available to you. And ultimately over time, you will not even have a human available to you. And you'll be basically just a protocol. And, and if that does not help you, uh, tough titty said the kitty. <laughs> the milk is still good, right? So um, that this is what's going on. I have family in Germany. This is what the Germans are experiencing right now. I have friends in Canada. This is what the Canadians are experiencing right now. And we are probably not far from them. It is for this reason that I've started teaming up with other like-minded people who are actually good at presenting online information. And in particular, I, I'm interacting with um, two people who started a company called PFC3. And I highly encourage everyone listening to my voice to join that program. If you do not know what the hell I am talking about, you can go to my website. So I have a wellness website for the purpose of this mission. And, and I have had Clarion Vision on this mission for about 13 years. So drannatoker.com, drannatoker.com. And then you'll see something called PFC3. Please click that link and learn. Now it talks a lot about wellness and tries to make, hey, we're making your life better. Let me tell you right now, you need to be healthy. And I really wish I had known these people pre-pandemic because the answer to the pandemic was not what we did. The answer to the pandemic was to eat better and get exercise, mitigate our stress, learn some new behaviors that improve our wellness. I am not talking about standing on a scale and did I lose weight? That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, do I feel well? Can I be active with my kids? Um, is my blood pressure better? Is my blood sugar better? Have I started to wean off of some of these pharmaceuticals you will not have access to sometime very soon? Because my family members in Germany who need these medicines have no access to their medicines now. Like that's been cut off. 
your federal government right now in America is starting to tell you that simple over-the-counter medicines that we've known for decades are very effective without very many complications whatsoever, are ineffective, and they're demanding to have them removed off the market. Why? So you have no choice. You're sick and you have no choice. You wind up going into their tightly controlled healthcare system. This is what this is about control of you, the person. So how does one not be controlled? And education is how one is not controlled. And I'll be honest, I graduated, I started medical school 30 years ago, 30 years ago. We learned a small smidge of nutrition 30 years ago tiny little bit. And in my surgery residency, we learned a little bit about nutrition as far as the care of the ICU patient and how to help a patient heal after an operation. Now, I took that part seriously because it made sense to me. But modern physicians learn zero about nutrition. They could not tell you. They can tell you what the FDA tells you. And the FDA is lying to you. I'm just going to be simple with that. The USDA thinks that cocoa puffs are somehow on the um, base of the food pyramid. You should do a lot of it. Go look at the modern food pyramid. It's unconscionable, to be honest with you. But So an education is critical, which is why I do these free videos and whatnot. Here's the problem. As I get older, it's harder. And as the healthcare system clamps down on physicians... The amount of paperwork the average doctor has to do to take care of you, it has quintupled, quintupled, easy quintupled, if not 10 times. What I currently get paid for what I do is half what it was 10 years ago. And that's half of what it was 20 years ago. Okay, so you're getting paid less as a physician you're getting overwhelmed with mandatory paperwork or you, or you don't receive the payment at all, to be honest with you, which means you no longer have time to talk to the patient. You no longer have time to educate the patient. You only have time to write for a prescription. So do you see how that funnel is working? The pinch is on you. They are making you sick with your food and your environment. The pinch is on me. They are cutting my income and mandating all kinds of crazy stuff that's completely irrelevant <laughs> to my interaction with you. They're actually trying to intervene in my interaction with you, um, and they're trying to limit my interaction with you. Okay, having said that, as a doctor gets older, they can't keep up. It's just, I mean, I'm 55, I still have energy, but there are surgeons who are in their 60s. They do not have the energy for this. They are retiring. You're running out of surgeons. And as they retire, who's going to see their patients? Well, I'm trying to see their patients. Call my office. It'll be three months before you can get in to see me. Unless somehow the angelic girl who answers my phone, if, if she hears certain words, and I've told her what words to listen to, then she'll force you onto my schedule. You may have to wait a couple hours to, to work in, but I can see you if it's an emergency. But, and, and I am no different than any other doctor. Call any doctor, especially a specialist, months. It'll take you months. I've got some patients who are waiting a year to see an endocrinologist because they're overwhelmed and everyone's retiring because we don't get paid for what we do. It's extraordinary amounts of work and it's very frustrating because what the patient truly needs is not what we're allowed to push forward. Okay, having said that, it is critical, and, and I just, I feel like God has forged my life in this way because who else was going to be able to put the twos and twos together than a microbiologist turned colorectal surgeon, mother who's got family, in socialist Europe. I mean, like there's very few people who click those. I might be the only one in America that clicks that box. I know most of the female colorectal surgeons. I'm, I'm probably the only one. So it had to be me, right? And, and what is apparent is that every modern disease has its origin 
in a sick intestinal tract. The sick intestinal tract starts first. It's not a result of your illness. It is the cause of your illness. It is for this reason that I started putting forth sort of health videos on your gut. It's also why I promote microbiome testing. It's why I promote a gluten-free clean diet. Okay. And I've been encouraged, and I mentioned PFC3. There's, there's two people who, who began that program, uh, Mark McDonald and Carrie Lapoli. They've been so kind to me, guiding me, because I, they've seen this vision also, and they've been working towards the same end 20 years ago. Their program is not a monthly fee. They're more interested in educating you. It's a one-time fee. You get to download the PDF and keep it for life. You get access to their videos for life, which means it's like buying an encyclopedia. This is your information you get to choose for life. And I do suggest you print these PDFs in the event there's an internet collapse, right? The information is critical. All right, well, they've encouraged me to do something similar on the intestinal tract, breaking down disease entities not just your digestive tract, but the adrenal glands and the kidneys and the liver and, and that sort of thing, because all of those things have an origin in GI tract health. Okay, that program is not for free. I, I, I've spent a year working tirelessly doing research to make sure that the data is accurate as it can be for 2023. The statements that I make have all been corroborated by papers that are published um, in the medical literature. I do use some alternative medicine, and I use holistic medicine, and I use functional medicine. I use basic science microbiology, and then of course the surgical literature and the gastroenterology literature. So basically, if it's in the literature, I might use it. Now, it's not completely comprehensive, only because it already represents a hundred concepts. You're talking about a three month program. And that three month program costs less than your first consult to see me. So it's like having me for three months for the price of less than one office visit. And you, there's a PDF you can print off. It is your information for life and that's how I need it to be. And this is critical. Because I am telling you right now, you've got to come up with ways in your own mind where you're going to step away from the pharmaceutical industry, step away from huge corporate food industries. It means shopping at farmer's markets. If you got a garden, grow your own food. Knowing where their organic stuff is, this food is more expensive, but it has more nutritional value. You don't need as much of it. The reason you're hungry and eating huge plates of food is because there's no nutrition in that. Okay, so while you're spending more per ounce, you're getting more food in that ounce, more nutrition, your body can use it. This is going to be critical going forward because I'm telling you, they're taking over the farms. They're taking over food process. They're burning food. Have you seen that? They're burning food processing plants to the ground. They're creating a food shortage. They're giving you bogusness about how meat is bad for you. And it is not. God create us this way. Look at your teeth. You are capable of eating anything that sets before you. You have got to eat a varied diet or you will get sick. You cannot just eat the same plant source. You can't eat Zibugs, okay? We're not going on a bug diet. <laughs> you need a variety of meats. You need a variety of fruits. You need a variety of vegetables. These are things that you must have. If you can get access to starches, like potatoes are awesome. God bless the potato. Uh, God bless the potato. And if you can get access, I sound Irish now. <laughs> God bless the potato. I hate the potato. But God bless the potato and God bless rice. So if you have access to those things, you got to learn how to cook it. You got to learn how to use it to your advantage. Study this concept. 
I am coming out with a program. It is for sale. If you do not want to do the 100 day program and you just want little mini programs, we're going to do those also. So if you struggle with stressful joints, I have whittled out my program, just that which involves inflammation. If you are um, a person under stress, like you are a triple A personality like I am, I have whittled out everything in the program that it deals just with how to mitigate stress. Or if you're like, look, I gotta lose weight. My blood pressure's because of my weight. I've whittled it down to what's just related to weight. If you go through those mini programs and decide, huh, well, that helped my stress. I'm wondering if what she's talking about will help my anxiety or my weight or whatever, my inflammation. And the answer is it will. <laughs> you can upgrade to the full program without any kind of financial penalty or anything like that. So, so anyway, that program is coming soon. I just wanted to shout that. I am now late for the operating room. <laughs> There's gonna come a day where they're not gonna allow me to do that. I am not taking another vaccine. Now that's probably banned me from YouTube for saying that. Right, Karen, <laughs> I'm not taking another one. If they tell me I cannot practice medicine unless I take this vaccine, I will not do it again. The last one almost took my career away from me. They fooled me twice, no way, man. So, so this is critical. I've got to make this transition. I feel like the world is moving quick and everyone needs to have this information within the next year, I'm guessing, if not sooner. So there you go. Um, we will start sending out emails to my patients and to our spa clients. You guys are all gonna get an email. Um, if you're watching this video and you don't know who the hell I am, you think, wow, that's, that's a potent um, conversation. The website is drannatoker.com. And you can buy the program now on that website. Not the little mini modules, hadn't really promoted those yet, but you can buy the full program. You can buy the PFC program. That's not my program, somebody else's, but it's critical. The two go together, you don't understand. Under the shop function are like are my favorite things, including a protein that is whole food, that is easy to consume, called carnivore snacks, including an amazing non-medical patch technology, what he calls vibro uh, tactile technology. It's a little patch. I've got a couple of little videos on that. Um, Super Patch is the name of that company. That's on the website as well, if you wanna know where to get those things. Um, these things are all amazing and they are critical. They get us away from big pharmacy, they get us away from big farming and food production, and they set you down a path of self-education. You have to know this information. Your schools are not teaching your children this. The schools are not teaching your doctors this. You need to learn it. It's in simple language. And um, I hope to see you guys uh, in the program. And anyway, have a good day. Have a good Friday. All right, we'll talk to you soon.